Most people believe that Isaac Newton invented calculus. Others say it was Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz. But very few people know that a mathematician in India discovered the essential ideas of calculus almost 300 years earlier. His name was Madhava of Sangama Grama. And this is the story of how calculus began long before Europe ever touched the subject. Madhava lived in the 14th century in the region of Kerala, on the southwest coast of India. He was part of what historians now call the Kerala School of Mathematics. This group worked for more than 200 years, passing down ideas, results, and discoveries in a continuous mathematical tradition. Madhava was the origin and inspiration of this entire school. He wasn't just a teacher or a scholar. He was a mathematician who pushed mathematics forward centuries ahead of the rest of the world. What did Madhava actually do? He discovered infinite series expansions of trigonometric functions. He wrote formulas for sine, cosine, and arctangent that are identical to the Taylor series we learn today. These are the same formulas that appear in modern calculus textbooks. For example, he gave an infinite series for pi. He used it to compute pi to at least 13 decimal places, an unbelievable level of accuracy for the time. His series for arctangent is the same as what Europe later called the Gregory series. His series for sine and cosine match the power series taught in every modern calculus class. He didn't just guess these formulas, he derived them, he proved them, and he used them to compute with extraordinary precision. This was not numerical trickery. This was the foundation of differential calculus and integral calculus, centuries before Newton or Leibniz were born. If Madhava discovered these ideas so early, why is he almost unknown today? There are several reasons. First, his work was written in manuscripts that never spread beyond the Indian subcontinent. Second, Europe developed calculus independently and published it widely in printed books. Third, the Kerala school did not publish in the formal style that became standard in Europe. Many of their results were embedded inside astronomy manuals, not pure math treatises. And finally, the global scientific community simply did not have contact with the scholars of Kerala at the time. Because of these factors, Madhava's achievements stayed hidden for centuries. Today, historians agree that the Kerala school developed key components of calculus long before Europe. This does not take away from Newton or Leibniz. They built a full system, including notation, rules, and a unified theory. But Madhava contributed something just as essential. He showed that infinite processes could be used to represent curves, angles, and areas. He opened the door to the idea that functions can be expanded into infinite series. And he did it with mathematical precision that still impresses modern mathematicians. When you study Taylor series, power series, or infinite sums, you are learning ideas that Madhava understood centuries before the rest of the world. The history of mathematics is not a straight line. It is a web of discoveries, forgotten manuscripts, rediscovered ideas, and genius minds working in isolation. Madhava of Sangamagrama was one of those minds. He discovered the essence of calculus long before calculus had a name, and today, he deserves to be remembered as one of the great mathematicians of human history.